In this video, we're going to work on how we can create these nice narrow bars here and having a space between them. So you can see every data set here has a value and we have here three different data sets and we make sure that they are grouped together nicely, but also there is space between here and we can control this space to make it bigger or smaller. And of course, remove the narrow, the narrow space between here. We're going to remove them so that we attach to each other. <coughs> In this video, we will answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to create space between group bar charts in Chart.js. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to add space between the bar and the upper grid line in Chart.js. And if you scroll down, you can see eventually here the question came from Nick Hill Singh. So a special thank you to Nick Hill for asking the question. And this is what Nick Hill asked. I want a gap between the group bar chart. Can you help? All right, so let's start to look how we can do this. Well, the first thing what we need to do here is to get our default code here. So make sure you go to charges3.com getting started. Then scroll down here and copy this chunk of code here. And if you would like to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. So then I'm going to paste it in here. Once I did that, I'm going to cut out this and put that in there. All right, save. Refresh and now we have a nice bar chart. What I want to do next is basically the following. I'm going to duplicate the bar chart so we have multiple data sets. So basically we're going to duplicate our data set here. We're going to copy this and paste it in here. All right. If I save this, refresh, now we have basically our bars here. However, they're grouped together except that there's some space here between and the desire was to remove all the space here and only keep the space here. So how can we do this? Well, luckily in Chart.js, they have like an option and I have a whole video for this about bar percentage and category percentage. So I would highly recommend you to watch this video. So we're going to work on it here as well, how we can use this just in basics. So I'm going to scroll down here, then in here in the options, what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to say the category. And this is the category percentage. So what this really does is referring basically within here the entire category. So not on the bar individually, but the category itself, how many percent should it be uh, uh, contained or how many percent of the entire category should it cover. So in this case, by default, it is 0.8%, meaning, or sorry, 0.8 meaning 80%. So that would be there. That's why you have here. This space here is approximately twenty percent. So that's it. So you can see here nothing really changes. So what we want to do next is basically the other one, which is the bar percentage. And the bar percentage is also a percentage value, which can be indicated into any other value. If I'm not mistaken, it is zero point nine by default. So if I save this here, refresh, you can see everything works fine. But what happens with the bar percentage? It would basically cover how much space we would cover individually for every bar. So if you put this on one, what will happen is we will remove all the space because we will request Chart.js to draw the chart with the full coverage of that area where the bar is supposed to be drawn. So you can reduce this as well as you can see here, 5, 0 0.5, and then you have here very narrow bars. And that's basically here the solution what we need. So if I save this again, refresh here, and there you are. So this is basically how we can play around with it and how we can control that. We can even reduce this, by the way. Let's make this to five. So we create a larger space between, and we have for the groups are being just narrowed together nicely. So if you like this video, and maybe you want to even understand deeper into the bar percentage and category percentage, I highly recommend you to watch this video here. We will dive deeper into this topic with different aspects and what you can consider. 